This day God gives me strength of high heaven, sun and moon shining, flame in my heart, flashing of lightning, wind in its swiftness, deeps of the ocean, firmness of this day God sends me strength as my steersman, might to uphold me, wisdom as guide. Your eyes are watchful, your ears are listening, your lips are speaking, friend at my side. God's way is my way, God's shield is round me, God's voice defends me, saving from ill. Angels of heaven drive from me always, all that would harm me stand by me still. Rising, I thank you, mighty and strong one, King of creation, giver of rest, firmly confessing threeness of persons, oneness of Godhead, Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, good morning everyone, and welcome back to St Mary's for this, our Mass, on Trinity Sunday, the celebration of the very nature of who God is, a trinity of persons, one God, in eternal love, a love that overflows into the world. And we are challenged by that love, we are comforted by that love, we are healed and forgiven by that love. Let us begin celebrating the love of God as it comes to us in his mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 
Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. With the two tablets of stone in his hands, Moses went up to the mountain of Sinai in the early morning, as the Lord had commanded him. And the Lord descended in the form of a cloud, and Moses stood there with him. He called on the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, Lord, Lord, a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in kindness and faithful. And Moses bowed down to the ground at once and worshipped. If I have indeed won your favour, Lord, he said, let my Lord come with us, I beg. True, they are a headstrong people, but forgive us our faults and our sins, and adopt us as your heritage. The Word of the Lord. To you glory and praise forevermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers. Blessed your glorious holy name. You are blessed in the temple of your glory. You are blessed in the throne of your kingdom. You are blessed to gaze into the depths. You are blessed in the firmament of heaven. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, we wish you happiness. Try to grow perfect. Help one another. Be united. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with the holy kiss. All the saints send you greetings. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. The Gospel of the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 
That's how I greeted you at the beginning of Mass. A direct quote from today's second reading, as we've just heard it, from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. We begin all that we do in church with the sign of the cross, and we will end with a blessing, invoking the same blessed Trinity whose feast it is today. Everything we do in the church is Trinitarian. The Trinity is the revelation of God's inner life, a life that in a few moments we will profess our faith in. Once again, a Trinitarian formula. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is the loving nature of God, the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one substance, one nature, love. Sometimes today you hear people being described as comfortable in their own skin. I think that means that they have self-confidence that doesn't border on arrogance, and that their own self-confidence means that they encourage others and don't compete with them. They love others and don't seek anything in return. I think that the late Bishop John Moan of our diocese was one of the most comfortable people in his own skin that I have ever met. I had the privilege of working closely with him for many years. He had a self-confidence as our bishop, and that allowed him to be one of the most loved and respected people that I have ever met. He would never have claimed perfection, but when he led, it was obvious without being domineering. It was decisive without being heartless. He was a priest after the heart of Jesus Christ. He reflected the love of God to everyone he met. God is comfortable in his own skin, if you'll pardon the expression. The relationship between Father and Son, their spirit, overflows into the world. In fact, God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, as today's Gospel passage told us. We are challenged by the love of God to allow it to flow through us to others. We are supported by that love in the love of our parents, our family, and our friends. We are encouraged in that love by the example of the saints. Moses encountered a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in kindness and faithfulness. Moses did not know of the Trinity, but he experienced the love of the Trinity. May that love be in our lives and overflow into our world. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear friends, in the name of Jesus Christ who redeemed us, 
and the Holy Spirit who sanctifies us, we make our prayers to God our Father. We pray for the Church, that she may always proclaim the eternal truth of salvation and the love of God, the three in one. Lord, hear us. We pray for peace and unity in the world. As God is three persons and yet a, yet a perfect unity, may all peoples be joined together in peace and may conflict come to an end. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who suffer and for those who care for them. May the love of the Holy Trinity be their hope and comfort. Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick, among whom we remember Alan Reed, Dina Canetta, Alice McCall, Kenny Purdy, Alexander Martin, Charles Fisher, Irene Kelly, Maureen Green, George Hossack, Jared Hill, Olivia Turner, Lauren McLeod, Siobhan Lowing, James Payton, Kirsty McKenna, Brian Stevenson, Caroline McNeil, Paul Cooper, Graham McLachlan, James Cunningham, Ethel Monroe, Joseph O'Donoghue, Catherine Cunningham, Deacon Martin Doherty, and Monsignor Peter Smith, and all those for whom intercession is made in the Book of Prayer. Lord, hear us. We pray for the faithful departed, for Betty Flynn, Pat Lyle, and Betty Logan, who died recently, and we call to mind the anniversaries of Helen Canning, Thompson Platt Sr., Elizabeth Quigley, and Jane Haggerty, and all whose anniversaries occur about this time. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In silence, let us make our own prayer. Father, in the power of the Spirit, we make these prayers through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invo invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord. Not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Sanctus, Sanctus, 
Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, pleni sunt celi et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, par that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. 
May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul, as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. The bishops of Scotland have published a pastoral letter this weekend about the reopening of churches, and you can read that pastoral letter on the parish Facebook page. It's there just below this, this Mass celebration. At the top of the page, you'll find it, in fact, on the Facebook page. And that'll take you to the Bishops' Conference website, where you can read all the detail of all the preparations that parishes are being asked to make for the reopening of churches. Sometime this week, the priests of our deanery will be meeting together to discuss how we will do it together, so that all parishes are doing the same thing at the same time. And so no one will feel, why are they doing something? Why are we not doing that? We're going to do it all together. Because hopefully, quite soon, our churches will be open for prayer. And not long after that, hopefully, we will be back to saying Mass in public once again. So pray for those things. Pray for the volunteers that are needed to help in the opening of the church. And pray that God will continue to bless his church, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Abba, Father, send your Spirit, glory, Jesus Christ. Abba, Father, send your Spirit, Glory, Jesus Christ. Glory, Alleluia. Glory, Jesus Christ. Glory, Alleluia. Glory, Jesus Christ. I'm your life and resurrection. Glory. Lord.